C Sharp has this tiny little feature that you can quickly apply and simplify every single source code file of your project. We have that feature for a long time. However, I keep getting into projects where no one is using it. So this video is about that feature once again. Why? I will show you how you can quickly, in just a couple of minutes, apply it to your projects with no risk and simplify every single source code file. So let's take a look. C Sharp is currently on version 13. Okay, so at the point of recording, you can see that C Sharp 13 is the one that we have since 2024. That means that we are already working on C Sharp 14. But if we go back to C Sharp version 10, November 2021, so four years ago almost, so this feature will turn four in just a couple of months. C Sharp 10 gave us the access to this global usings directive. If you are using one of the most recent versions of .NET, likely you are already taking advantage of this feature. Why? You no longer need to go to the top of your file and saying using system, for example, something that we used to do in every single source code file in the past. However, most of the teams are still not taking advantage of this feature for their own purposes. So let me show you what I mean. This is the typical project organization that you find out there with an API that we have here on the top, then the core where you have, for example, the logic, here we have, for example, the domain, then we have an infrastructure layer where we connect to things like a database or call an API. Ideally, we have tests, right? Uh, and here is a web uh, application, so it would be a new UI on top of that API. With this typical structure, you normally will find some common dependencies, so common things that we are using. And for example, in this common structure, the core project or the domain project, whatever you like to call it, tends to be present everywhere. So we are already taking advantage of that global usings for the Microsoft thing. So for the .NET thing, the system dot something, the uh, Microsoft dot something, ASP.NET dot something. Why not taking advantage for our own concepts? For example, in our tests, it's quite common that we see in many of the test files always repeating the same usings. For example, if I have a test project for my domain application, my domain logic, it's quite common to have the same using every single time. For example, if we open those two files side by side, we can see that at least this domain is common. Okay, we use them in every single file. Okay, this is just a demo. I know that I only have two files. There's only one uh, type of feature, but you can see this applying everywhere. When we have, for example, this type of rich domain models, this using will be everywhere. So why not start thinking about moving that, promoting that to the feature of a global using? There's no risk, there's no penalty. So there's only good things on doing it. It's less friction next time you need to use a concept from that domain. And how can you do it? It's quite simple. In fact, in this project, we already have this global usings where I have this global using X unit. So it's quite simple. We just need to come here. The file doesn't even need to be named global usings. You can put it uh, whatever you want. Let's set the global using to task management core domain. Once we do that and we go to one of those files, notice that I don't need to have it here anymore. So let's go to the other one. We can do the same. It can be even simpler because your ID likely already have a uh, a feature like this where you can quickly convert uh, something to a global using. So for example, in this case, it's asking what's the name of the file where, that I want to use. Okay, notice that it even says the usage percentage. That means that 33% of the times is being used. Let me show you for the other one. For example, let's bring this one here again. Okay, add it back. If we try to use that feature now, that context action, notice 67% of the project is using it. So you can see the advantage of doing this. So we can quickly do it and it will go into that file. If you don't like to have this on a file, on global usings file, you can do it in a different way. It's good when you prefer to have this type of things as part of your CS approach, for example, and you can do it that way as well. For example, let's do it for the X unit. If I want to avoid having the global using here, I can 
quickly remove it from here. You can see now that the test is complaining. Why? Doesn't know the fact term. Okay, it's part of the of that using X unit. I don't have the global using anymore. So I can go to the CS Proj, edit CS Proj, and let's bring here a new item group using include X unit. An important thing is that you use the correct syntax. Okay, for example, if I type it this way, it's exactly the way it should be, so it will compile. However, imagine that I have a mistake, like I think that it's this way X unit. So if I compile it now, you can see it's failing. Okay, that's the only small thing that you need to pay attention when using this strategy. In the same way that we are applying this strategy here, we can quickly do it on other places of our source code. For example, in the infrastructure, if you are using something like clean architecture, you need to, to use the dependency of the core or the domain. So having this using there will be quite common. So if we go here and we use the feature once again, you will see that 50% of the code is using it. So let's add it as well. It generates that global usings file. Okay, We can start using it that way. We can also apply the other strategy or mix and match and move it to the CS approach. However, there's something more. What if you have something that is common to the old single project that you have? For example, this case of the task management.core.domain is now part of my infrastructure, but also part of my tests. What if I wanted it to be applied to every single project? I can do that. So, and now can we do that? Let's go to our folder, add a new file. Let's call it directory.build.props. And here let's create a tag project. And inside of the project, let's bring a new item group using, you know where I'm going, right? So include, bring that one in. And if now we go here and we remove the global using, so on our infrastructure, let's remove that file. In our tests, let's go to the global usings and comment that as well. And if we, pick those projects on the top and we build them, you can see that they are building. So that means that the using of this task management.core.domain is available on all of them. Okay. So in any source code file that I have inside of those projects, I can start using the concepts that are part of this folder. So I can create a to do whatever is the place that I'm current positioned. So there's one error that you can see here that is the web application. Why? The web application currently doesn't know the task management core. So this is the, the only thing that you need to pay attention when you have something like this directory.build.props. Why? The directory.build.props will apply to every single uh, project, CS project that is under or in that folder where you place that props uh, file. So you have basically two possibilities here. You can either move the web application to a different place, okay? For example, moving it to, to one folder and keep this on another subfolder side by side, but it doesn't impact this one. Or you can create conditions here. So both of them are a possibility. On my case, I will leave this one comment here because I tend to prefer the other approach. One of the reasons is that this way I don't have that risk of the typo, for example, uh, and also it's not that common for me to use the same using in every single place. However, in some projects like building a library or having cross-cutting concerns, Something like that, for example, if we have a project with extensions that you use in every single place, it's a great way to avoid having that using in every single place. And as you can see, it's quite simple to do it, okay? It doesn't bring a ton of work to, to quickly do it. So that's why I don't see the reason why this is not being used more often, okay? Just a couple of minutes, you can put this in practice. There's no risk involved and you will see a quick win that everyone will appreciate.